All right, so the first thing that we wanted to know is when evaluating the pitches, what elements are you looking for? I think um, um, one of the things we all wanted to say, because we were just in there um, um, in emotional torture uh, making this decision, <laughs> and um, it uh, really it was a, a wrenching for all of us. Um, so the, my answer to that is, you know, when we heard those four pitches, you know, they were so different, and the movies would be um, obviously in different genres. And some of the stories I always mentioned to my partner, Albert Berger, that some stories are 60 yard field goals and some are, you know, 30. And you don't know whether you applaud more for a 60 yard field goal that's five yards short or the 31 that's right between the uprights. And, um, you know, we, we were really struggling with that. You know, the, um, you're saying what elements in a pitch we look for? You know, the, the, the comp compelling story that you're caught up in just like you're seeing the movie. Um, and, it, and I think the personal uh, reception is, is that the kind of theme that really would sustain your year or two or 10 years interest? I think confidence and clarity in the pitch, um, which they all had, so that was challenge. But that was definitely um, a conversation that we had. Who who really kept our attention and had uh, thought everything through and really had a grasp of the story and was able to sell it. Okay. I you know that that story 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 thing is I I, I think as true as anything, and so that. You're looking, for part of the time, you're look, trying to look through the pitch at the story. Okay. And then in terms of the pitches that we just heard, what creative or commercial aspects really stood out for you the most? Oh, Our conversation didn't quite go that way. Okay. I, I, I mean, in all honesty. It, wasn't, yeah. it, was, it didn't seem to be the, the texture of it. I think the texture of our conversation was that we just met four great people who were compelling and who offered very different things. It wasn't, we didn't talk about a standard like this and who, who met that and who didn't. It, okay. I think each person we saw, which made it so tough for us, created their own standard. I mean, I, I think everybody here knows it. You saw different qualities that you admired in each person up here. I don't think we're alone in that. Yeah. And that's what made it tough. Can you talk a little bit about specific qualities that's, that stood out for you for various, con various contestants? Um, I, I really, I, I really like um, Glenn's use of humor and the okay. fact that his his pitch is a humorous pitch. I thought that was, I thought that that's a great way to pitch a comedy is to is to start it with humor and continue to be funny. And and there was um, and there was a real element of like sort of he really sold. He kind of really sold that. And 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 Allison was very um, was very thoughtful. Um, in what is ultimately a very thoughtful story. And Allison made you see s scenes. She made you mm -hmm. absolutely visualize scenes that worked in your head, which I thought was terrific. And I feel like Julia had a, his, a real ballsiness <laughs> to her, which sort of mirrors, again, like mirrors what that female protagonist is. Yep. Um, and Nikki was, was um, a complete clarity and really... Um, was really great that she also personalized it with the science background, and and um, and that was really helpful as well. That she seemed expert on the subject her film was about was mm -hmm. really impressive. Great, great. And then in terms of just the projects themselves, like let's take the students out of it for a minute. But in terms of these projects, how viable do you feel that they would be in the marketplace? Well, I I, I think you know um, the. Um, Water Adventure just seemed like, you know, a movie that's a very mainstream, accessible, exciting movie. So that, you know, and others seemed like, you know, they, the, the stories were uh, complex and really riveting, but um, would need some kind of special handling to, you know, break through beyond uh, like an art film or a European film. But, but within, um, within the, the stories, there were incredible scenes. So you wanted to see the movie but it's a much harder one to break through the marketplace. I was the sort of really encouraged by, um, by Mr. Cool, just because I felt like out of the three, it was probably the one that I really felt like you could, that the options weren't just limited to the studio. Mm -hmm. And 
for me, I'm always, as an indie producer, I'm always looking at ways that you can make stuff outside the system. And, and even for 15 to $20 million, it's totally achievable in an independent way. And so I felt like that was a really viable um, a really viable project that had a lot of options outside of the studio system, too. Okay. You know, I had an agent tell me recently, you know, in terms of the marketplace, that it's getting to the point, this is somebody who's sort of influential, it's getting to the point where the studios are your court of last resort because mm. you can try and put together financing yourself first, mm -hmm. and it's such an easier course to follow. So in, in, in some way, it's a, I, think, I, I think any set notion of what the marketplace is for the kind of films we heard about is changing as we speak, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I I think there's plenty of room. I hope there's plenty. Actually, of room. I feel like I feel like Wise and and Allison's script. I feel like actually those three, you could all make independently without compromise. And I feel like there are a lot of companies now that are set up to make their their cast driven and their filmmaker driven, mm -hmm. but they don't need to be at a studio, and you can still make them for a budget that isn't um, compromising the quality of the movie. I feel like the only one that's challenging in the independent world is um, is uh, Deep Flight. Right, 3D and all the rest of it makes it a little bit harder. It just also, I think the I think the probably the best version of the the film is the is the epic, yeah. large Jurassic Park underwater version of the film for me. Cool, and you know, it, I mean, I couldn't have talent like the three of you up here without asking, do you have any advice um, that you would like to share to the producers who've competed tonight and to all the producers who are out here in the audience hoping to uh, get their shot at it next time around? Well, I would just say, you know, our debate, all, all four were great in their own way. And, and in, to some degree, the, the, the pitch presentation should match the genre a little bit. Okay. Um, I personally, um, I feel like we're, I'm here at a uh, cat show, but I only have dogs. I mean, um, <laughs> the, um, we don't pitch much. We don't take pitches out. Um, and, and part of that, I think, and this is just personal, I, I, I just kind of like a straightforward presentation of, this, of the story in such a way that it might live in your mind, but it's not being acted out. And I think, you know, all four people, um, you know, had a, had a nice approach to their genre. Um, my advice is actually not about pitching. I think it would be about sort of producing this in the sense that um, I feel like where, you, where do you sort of go from here once you leave? And I think it's I, I think it's about um, figuring out who's in your world that can help you get your movie made. Like start starting with the people that you've met, the people that you know, and um, you know, it's like how do you take those next steps into Realizing what it is that you want to do, and and, um, uh, and I, you know, I always say, sort of start with your start with who's in your circle, start with um, who's around you to kind of like whether it's and again like taking it in cold to production companies to bring on a larger producer to help with some of this stuff is tough. But it's like okay, if you're looking for a if you're looking for a producer, who do you know that can introduce you to somebody so that you have a bit more of an in to go pitch this to somebody that can help you get this project made if that's what you feel like is the next step for the movie. Okay. Um, I, I, I guess I think there's an element, there's a question and an element about to what extent you win your own support. To what extent you love it enough yourself to put everything on the line and how much you say, okay, I'll change that, I'll change that, I'll change that. Not that it isn't you know, the, I don't, don't understand the reasons to do that, but I think three o'clock in the morning is easier if you have your own full support. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of goes back to passion, I think, too. Like you yeah. have to really believe in what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for your wisdom, guidance, and support this evening. Mm -hmm.